Shalom Israel, back with another GMS on the go. I'm Brother Nakam. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone for teaching us this 100% truth of the Bible. And all you should say, I could start the four corners of the earth, keep pushing. And today's lesson is going to be on First John chapter 3, verse 4, who's on what is sin. And then we're going to get, after we get what is sin, we're going to get who the law statute and commandments are given to, you know. So with that, today's lesson is on First John chapter 3, verse 4, and it reads, Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law, for sin is a transgression of the law. So we just proved right there what sin was. Sin is transgressing the law. You know, and 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 this in the law right here, this Bible tells you that you're not supposed to eat shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. You know, it's abominable. The law tells you that you're not supposed to be sleeping with the next man's wife, vice versa. You know, the Bible tells you, you know, that you're not supposed to only be celebrating these pagan holidays such as Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, New Year, Fourth of July. You know, the law. You know, which is this Bible, it tells you that you're not supposed to be on um, worshiping all these false gods who are no gods, such as Shiza Borje, Allah, the Hindu God of Sheba, Santa Maria, Buddha. So the Bible tells you you're not supposed to be doing none of that stuff, you know, because sin is the transgression of the law. So that's what that's what sin is, transgression of the law. So you, now that we know the sin is transgression of the law, we're going to get who the law such and commandments were given to, you know, because it said whosoever, because a lot of people say, when they say who whatsoever, it's talking about everybody, the whole world. When well, that's not the case, so we're gonna prove who the who the who the own who that whosoever is, you know. Salaki Israel. All right, this is Leviticus chapter 26, verse 45. But I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. Right, because the Most High brought us out of the land of Egypt, you know, through, into the wilderness. Out of the land of Egypt in the sight of their heathens. Right, because the Most High brought us out of the land of Egypt, you know. Into the into the wilderness by the sight of the heathens. The heathens were the so-called Africans at that time, who biblical name they're the Africans, you know, but their biblical name are the Hamites. Ham. In in the sight of the heathen, that I might be their power, and I am Yahweh. Right, he said, and I am Yahweh. Yahweh is the heavenly Father who the world only calls God. Verse 46, these are the statutes and judgments and laws, there it is right there, which Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. So it just said, read from the top again, these are the statutes and judgments and laws. So going back to on First John, uh, so like, yeah, First John 3 and 4, for sin is the transgression of the law, and it said whosoever committed sin transgression of the law. So that whosoever is talking about the nation of Israel because it said that he these are the statutes and judgments and laws which Yahweh, who is the Heavenly Father, made between him and the children of Israel. So that whosoever in First John 3 and 4 is talking about the children of Israel, these so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's not talking about these doo eating Africans, you know, who are the Hamites. It's not talking about um, Moab, so-called Chinese. It's not talking about... Ammon, the so-called Japanese. It's not talking about Ishmael, the so-called Arab. And the damn show ain't talking about Esau, the so-called white man. It's talking about so-called blacks, Latinos, and the Americans. You're the one who got the laws, statutes, and commandments. So since you're the only one who got the laws, statutes, and commandments, you're the only one can, you're the only one who can sin. Because the most I only gave you so-called blacks, Latinos, and the Americans the laws, statutes, and commandments of this Bible. So you're the only one who can sin. You're the only one who can transgress. These other nations can't because they didn't get the laws. The Most High is not dealing with these other nations. If he was, he would have gave them to them, but he didn't. He gave them to these so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know? And it reads on. Start it from the top again. This is started 46. It's Leviticus chapter 26, verse 46. These are the statutes and judgments 
and laws which Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. Right. So these are the laws, statutes, commandments that the Most High made between him and the children of Israel. That's his plan, right? They don't get no plainer than that. In Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses, right? Once again, in Mount Sinai, that's in the wilderness at the um the Most High letters out of Egypt by the hand of Moses, you know, in Mount Sinai, you know. So Most High letters out of Egypt by the hand of Moses, and they led us to the wilderness in Mount Sinai. We were there. Moses went up and got the laws, you know, 613 laws from the Most High, you know. And those 613 laws were given to you so-called blacks, Latino, and Native Americans. Nobody else. You were the only one in the wilderness. You were the only one in one of the other nations but you so-called blacks, Latino, and Native Americans, you know. The, Bib the biblical Hebrew Israelites was nobody else in the wilderness but you. So you're the only one who got those laws, statutes, and commandments. So you're the only one who can say them once again. And we're going to back that up with another scripture, proving that you're the only one who got the laws, you know. This is Songs. Chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Once again, read it again. He showed his word to Jacob. Jacob is the 12 tribes of Israel because Jacob had 12 sons. You know, his, his his name from Jacob was later changed to Israel, you know, after he wrestled the angel. So his name became Israel later. Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He so. So the Most High showed his word unto Jacob, you Israelites, his statutes and judgment unto Israel. Israel, Israel, you so called blacks, Latino, and American, not these other nations. Same thing is said over there in Leviticus, saying the same thing right here. You know, he said, Israel, you're the one who got the laws, you're the one who got the judgment, you're the one who got the own commandments, the, the, the statutes. Nobody else but you so called blacks, Latino, and Americans, the biblical Hebrew Israelites. You know? So you're the only who can sin. You're the only who can go off. Verse 20. He has not dealt so with any nation. So the most I was telling you right there. He has not dealt so with any nation. So that's plain. Outside of you so-called black Latino Native Americans. He's not dealing with nobody else but you. That's it. And as for his judgment. They have not known them. Praise ye. So as for his. As far as the Most High Judgment, these other nations haven't done, they have not known them. That's why these other nations do what they want, you know. That's why the other nations, they come out here and they can sin, they can do it all, they, they can do what they want to do. Because the Most High didn't give them the judgments. He didn't give them laws that you can remember, you know, that, that, that abide by, you know, you know to like, to follow. So, they have these other nations, Esau, once again, who was a so-called white man, um, Ammon, the so-called Chinese, uh, uh, Salak, Ammon, the so-called Japanese. On um, Moab, the so-called Chinese, on um, Ishmael, the so-called on um, Arabs, and these on um, Duty Africans, so-called Duty and Africans, which is Ham. These these nations have not known the Most High's judgments, so He didn't give them to them. You know that's why they go off all the time. That's why they always doing things in wickedness. You know, but He gave you so-called Blacks, Latino, and Native Americans the laws to follow. You know, to go by. So the Most High just said. Let me read that again, verse 20. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgment, they had not known him. So the Most High hasn't dealt with any of these other nations, and they have not known his judgments, you know? And it reads, praise ye Yahweh. So there it is. And I got one last precept, you know, because it said, it said, he has not dealt with any nation, right? Watch this. This is Isaiah. Chapter 40, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing. So there it is. It just said in Songs 147 and 19, 147 and 20, that these nations, that they, um, they have not known them. Salakia, Israel. Salakia. <laughs> it just said, 
he had not dealt so with any nation. So if he didn't deal with these nations, and then right here is telling you Isaiah 40 and 17, all nations before him as nothing. That's thing you know right there. He didn't get these lost these other nations the lost that commandments of the Bible. And he don't really give two shits about these other nations. You know? Because he just said they are nothing. And they are counted to him less than nothing. What's less than what's if you're already nothing, then you're counted to the most high less than nothing. It don't get no you can't even you can't even go deeper than nothing, you know, less than nothing. You can't even describe less than nothing. You just nothing. That's bad. When you're less than nothing. You know? So you nations are nothing to the most high. Can't count it to him less than nothing. He hasn't and he just said he hasn't known you. So therefore, all you other nations didn't get y'all wasn't given the law. You know, so whoever out there is trying to say the law of and commandments is for everybody, you're going off and you're lying. You know, because the scriptures are plain. These scriptures are plain. Most I said, Israel, Israel, Israel. Those are the ones who get the law of commandments, you know. You know, so with that, I hope you've been edified. It's been another GMS on the go. I'm brother in the come. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Next up, double honors to the apostles and utter a great millstone when teaching us this 100% truth for the Bible. And all you sincere, I can start the four corners of the earth. Keep pushing. Shalom.